The sale of counterfeit medicines has reached greater volumes, making 50% of the global drug market, with a significant proportion of fake products in developing countries. Dr. Luo Dapeng says a registry system has been developed to clamp down on counterfeit medicines entering the country through main entry points. PNG has been on the wrong end of a flourishing medical drug black market with indications that the syndicate has already established itself in the formal health system. Medical drugs have gone missing, leading to health facilities running out of vital medicines. With support of the partner, including WHO, to address it, this issue, start with a regulation, a registration system. I think the system is on the way, and uh, we are developing the system. The World Health Organization has appealed to consumers to seek proper consultation with medical professionals and a warning to consumers not to purchase medicines peddled on the street. So they, they will, you have a better chance to get a proper medicine and a proper, proper dosage for, for, the, for you to, to provide uh, adequate services. Dr. Dapeng says the government's role is to protect people's lives and the registry system will help to save lives. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill in early reports also called for government departments and line agencies to step up monitoring and prevalence on substandard counterfeit and illegal products. We will be following the lead and, and assisting them where our competence is required. So I think it would be a, a relevant question for the lead agency to answer. Uh, but as far as uh, we're concerned, uh, we've not uh, progressed this matter as yet. Fabian Hacklitz, National MTV News.